May the peace of the living God be unto you, beloved in Christ, which are is the best hour to pray to receive a very quick result. Which are is the best hour to pray to receive a very quick result. When we read the book of Psalm 55, the verse 17, the scripture says, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray aloud, and he shall hear me. So now in the first place, one of the things I want us to know here is that a person can either pray in the morning, in the evening, or in the afternoon. Much more, a person can also pray at dawn and at midnight. When you read the book of Psalm 119, the verse 62, now the scripture says, At midnight will I arise and give thanks unto the Lord for his righteous judgment. And when you continue to read the same Psalm 119, the verse 145, the scripture enlightened us how David spoke of how his eyes would prevent the dawning of the morning in order to pray and meditate upon the word of God. So in the first place, let's understand something here. Prayers can be offered either in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at midnight, or at dawn. But among these five periods which a person can pray, which is the most advisable one that every believer should engage in in order to receive a very quick result for his or her prayers. One of the things I want us to know here is that our prayers are taken before the throne of grace through angelic hosts. So we actually see this in the book of Daniel. How Daniel's prayers were taken before the throne of grace by an angel. And when the angel in charge of mystery, that was Gabriel, whilst he was actually returning the, the request of the prayers, how he was restored by the Prince of Persia, until a reinforcement was actually created on his behalf. So literally, we should know that our prayers are taken before the throne of grace through the ministry of angels. And one of the things we should know is that angelic hosts are released based on certain seasons and depending on their strength so we can biblically see this in the book of john chapter 5 how a certain angel was released based on the times and seasons to come in to stir the waters so angelic hosts are released based on times and seasons with respect to their strength so when you actually consider the jewish calendar they pray every three hours that is 12 a.m., 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m. Every three hours we see them praying. We can literally see this in the book of Acts chapter 3. The scripture says when the hour of prayer was come, that was uh, 3 p.m. When we read Bible history, we can literally trace that they were praying every three hours. At that particular period, there are angelic hosts being released at that time based on their strength. So the secret thing we should know here is that the angelic host released at the beginning of every night watches they are greater than the angelic host released during the day let's let's notice so the most convenience are where your prayers can be answered quickly that is at the beginning of the night watches that is a midnight prayer you can literally pray at every single time and receive a result but praying at midnight are the results become very quick. Now, please hear this. You can pray at every single time and receive a result. But there is a mystery behind that mid-hour prayer. So literally, when we read a scripture, which we read in the book of Psalm 55, verse 17, the scripture says, At evening and at morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear me. So there is an emphasis laid here. It says, and he shall hear me. So just as I said, you can pray at every single hour and receive a result. But at midnight hour, the impact and the extent to which the prayer is being answered is very quick. Why? Because there is a release of greater angelic hosts within that jurisdiction of time. I can literally share some personal experience, but literally I don't want the thing to become so exoteric. 
some of you can literally testify that always at the beginning of the night what is which is the midnight are uh, most often the holy spirit most often wake you up why one of the mysteries is that he wants you to receive a quick result for your prayers glory hallelujah though there are other factors which i will talk about in our subsequent videos glory to the holy spirit and finally one of the things which you know is that at that particular midnight uh jesus christ himself move himself he moved himself mightily through his spirit biblically we can see this one in the book of luke chapter 12 the verse 37 that was which i will touch on in the next video so beloved in christ i humbly plead with you always yield yourself to the sounding trumpet of the midnight hour quickening by the holy spirit and it will shock you you always receive a very quick result for your prayers and i pray may the lord always grant you that strength to yield your members in obedience to that and may the lord take you from glory unto glory and so shall it be peace shalom